Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and in this video I'm going to show you how to convert any numbers, for example in grams to milligrams to micrograms to nanograms, uh, forward and backward and you can do it easily without use of calculator. And let's start with some easy examples. The brain of an elephant can weight up to 7.5 kilograms. What this weight in grams? In one kilogram there are 1000 grams. So what we have to do, we just have to multiply 7.5 by 1000. And basically that means that we have to move this decimal point three places to the right. So we are going to get 7000 500 grams. Next example, Homo sapiens have a brain volume of about 1350 milliliters. How much is this in liters? And there is 1000 milliliters in one liter. Milli means one thousand of something. In this case, one thousand of a liter. So one milliliter is 1000 of the liter. So we have to divide 1350 milliliters by 1000 in order to find how many, um, how many liters we have. And this is going to be 1.350 liter. By the way, if you think that human brains is the largest among all the animals, as you see, the brain of the uh, elephant is much larger. And there are many animals whose brain are much larger than human brain. Those here we have liters, here we have grams, but still we understand that this number means much larger brain than this number here. Next question, a mouse brain weights about 400 milligrams, what is this in micrograms? And now take a look at this picture and here we have uh, conversion factors of, for example, milli to micro, micro 1000 times smaller than milli. Milli, as you see, is 1000 of something. It can be, for example, milligrams or milliliters, milligrams, milli 1000 of the gram, milliliter is 1000 of the liter. Micro is 1000 times smaller than milli and it means one millionth of something. So as you see, after uh, this decimal point, we have six zeros here. And nana means one billionth of something. Nana, 1000 times smaller than micro and one million times smaller than milli. We also can say that micro 1000 times bigger than nana and milli 1 million times bigger than nano. If mouse brain weights 400 milligrams and we have to give an answer in micrograms and as you see micrograms is 1000 times smaller than milligrams. That means that we just have to add three zeros here in micrograms this is going to be 400,000 micrograms. Next question, ribosomes start at about 11 nanometers. How many micrometers is this? We can say that 11 nanometers is going to be 11 and here decimal point and we also can put here zero, zero. It doesn't matter how many zeros we put here. It's going to be 11. And if we need to move from um, nanometers to micrometers, so from nano to micro, if in previous example we were moving in this direction, 
now we have to move in this direction. So if in previous example we added zeros, three zeros, or we also can say that we had 400 and we just moved decimal point three places to the right. Now we have to move three places to the left. One, two, three. So we have to add zero here, zero here, and decimal point is going to be here. So in micrometers, 11 nanometers is going to be 0 0.011 micrometers. Next question, a mitochondrion averages 0 0.5 micrometers across. How much is this in nanometers? So this time we have micrometers, which we have to convert to nanometers. Micro, nano. Nano is 1000 times smaller than micro. That means we have to move decimal point three places to the right. So instead of 0 0.5, we are going to have move one, two, three places. So this is going to be a new decimal point. And we put zero here, zero here, we also can add zero here. So what we have now, we have 500. Do not count this because this goes after decimal point. So now we have 500 nanometers. 0 0.5 micrometers equals 500 nanometers. We have a couple more questions. Commander Spock identifies a new strain of bacteria which averages 17.83 micrometers. How many nanometers is this? So let's write this number, 17.83 micrometers. We have to convert to nanometers, micro to nano. We move to this direction, so nano 1000 times smaller than micro. That means we have to move this decimal point three places to the right. So let's do it. One place, two and three. And we have to add zero here. And this is going to be a new position of the decimal point. So we remove this point here and we are going to get uh, 17,830. And if you like, you can add zero here. It doesn't affect this number here. And we have to add nanometers, so nanometers. Next question, the near self running the length of the giraffe's neck can measure up to 3,100 millimeters. How much is this in meters? There are 1,000 millimeters in a meter. So we have to divide 3,100 by 1,000. And we are going to get 3.1 meters. Alternatively, we can say that meters are going to be here. So this whole number stands for one meter. And milli, 1,000 times smaller than a meter. And just like in my previous examples, we can put 3,000. 100 millimeters and we can move decimal point one, two, three places to the left. And we are going to get 3.1 meter. And the last question, how much it's going to be in micrometers? So we have to convert 3,100 millimeters to micrometers. So we Moving from milli to micro, we're moving to the right. That means we have to move decimal point, which is here, three places to the right. One, two, three. So this is going to be new position of the decimal point. And let's add zero here, here, and here. So now we have uh, three million one hundred thousand micrometers. And this is all for today. Subscribe and see you in the next video. Goodbye.